Hello, my name is Russell Myers. Welcome to Issues Unite. So this morning, Yevgeny uh, Prigozhin, the commander of the Wagner uh, PMC, private military uh, corporation, announced that Bakhmut is uh, officially 100% in uh, Russian hands. Uh, so Bakhmut has fallen. The official name, henceforth, is not going to be Bakhmut anymore. Uh, it will be, um, in Russian, it will be called Artyomovsk. So, this has been a 200 and some day battle uh, for this. And uh, so, in five days... Uh, the Wagner Group is going to hand over control of uh, the of Bakhmut to the formal Russian military, and uh, so and the Wagners are going on va uh, vacation. So uh, I know that you've probably heard about um, Ukraine uh, attempting some. Uh, you know, counteroffensives on the flanks uh, of the uh, of this battle in the past week or two, and that has not worked out well. They've taken some areas, which is both mostly uh, open fields and uh, you know forest lines, which. I, I, I would hesitate to call them uh, forest lines as uh, opposed to just tree lines, uh, you know, the size of parks, really, uh, like an inner city park. Uh, the Ukrainians have been uh, retreating into the open areas uh, between, uh, you know, so yeah, they have uh, retreated into the um, open fields between Bakhmut and Chesov Yar, uh, which has been labeled the Valley of Death. All of this was unnecessary. Uh, I, I've said many times that this was unnecessary. Uh, tens of thousands of Ukrainians have lost their lives trying to hold on to uh, Bakhmut Artyomovsk. And it is, it is a severe tragedy. In one day, uh, last week, across all front lines, uh, Russia estimates that Ukraine lost eight, over 1,800 uh, soldiers uh, dead or disabled, uh, injured to the point of being disabled and having to be evacuated out from those front lines. I I've personally seen videos uh, of Ukrainian soldiers in a pickup truck coming through and, and picking up and throwing bodies into the back of the pickup truck just stacked up. Uh, this is an immense tragedy. We can always hope that this will reach the final stage, but I, I, we know that that's not going to happen, that uh, we can hope that Ukraine will go to, come to the negotiating table, but as of this time, no, that's not going to happen. Uh, I'm going to do a separate video on some other aspects of this. So what happens from here is that what uh, Russian regular mil military has been involved in this, the artillery especially and so forth, then now they are going to you know, reposition, they're going to redeploy to other areas along the front lines, uh, such as Siversk, uh, you know, and so, and 
Kherson, where there is a buildup of Ukrainian troops. So they're, they're going to be freed up from this area and redeployed elsewhere along the front line. So this has been a long battle for both sides. And again, it is a, a human tragedy that this ever happened. But both sides. Russia actually stated, I mean, Russian tactics have been focusing on attrition. Yeah, you know, destroying the military capacity of Ukraine. It's not focused on taking territory. Ukraine, if Bakhmut was just symbolic. Of course, Ukraine is not admitting as yet that the, that the Russians have taken Bakhmut, but look back since the beginning of this, uh, when Mariupol uh, was uh, first invaded by Ukraine and then taken back by Russian forces, it, it took them several weeks to admit that this had happened. The same is true with Solidar, that it took them two to three weeks to admit that Solidar was no longer in Ukrainian control. But this, this is fact. Ukraine, I, I mean, Bakhmut has fallen. It is now 100% under Russian control. So share this video. Talk about these subjects. If you can afford it, please donate whatever you can to help expand this channel and my presidential campaign. And I will catch you in the next one. Thank you for watching. Hope you have a good day.